Okie dokie, artichokies. We got another quantitative comparison question here, this time asking us to compare the area of a rectangle to the area of a trapezoid. And finding the area of a rectangle is very straightforward, probably the easiest formula in the, in the history of formulas. It's just length times width, or base times height, whatever you want to call it, right? 8 times 3 gives us 24. So that's set. And then we get to a trapezoid, and we're like, Oosh, I don't remember the formula for this. Or maybe you do, but it, it's long and complicated. Well, I'll give you the formula, but you don't really need it, as we're going to see. So the, the formula for the area of a trapezoid, just so we have it, is going to be 1 half times base 1 plus base 2. That's referring to these parallel sides of the, uh, of the trapezoid, times the height, the straight height up and down. Okay, so we could use that, but on the GRE, whenever you get a weird shape like a trapezoid, you can always just break it up, right, into a rectangle and a triangle, or multiple rectangles and multiple triangles. So all we got to do is find the area of each of these pieces and then add them together. So let's do it. Um, this distance is a length of, fi of 5, so that means that this distance is going to be a length of 5, because I drew a straight line down. And since the whole distance there is 7, that means the remaining number there is 2. And since this height is 4, and that height is 4. Okay, so 5 times 4 for this uh, this rectangle right here gives us 20. And then 4, this is a, a right triangle, so base times height divided by 2. 2 times 4 divided by 2 gives us 4. So 20 and 4 added together makes 24. Would you look at that? They're equal to each other.